Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're doing well. So today I wanted to film a video on AS Biology. I wanted to talk about like how I'm finding it, what I'm doing to, re um, to revise, how I'm revising and yeah just a few different things about biology and yeah hope you enjoy and let's get started. The board I'm doing for um, A level uh, biology is OCR. We were told to get this textbook from school and alongside that I was given this revision guide by my cousin who did this spec last year and um, I don't actually use this as much just for a basis of making sure I know ins and outs of it and just like testing myself but the other book that I have but I use the online version is CGP uh, textbook it is amazing so I use the online code because my friend has a book and she says that I can use the online code and it's so good I think personally I prefer it than this book because this book is so like I'm just gonna say it, it's really ugly like it's kind of like not got everything in it whereas with the CGP book it has everything but it like simplifies it down and it explains it in an easier way so those are the books I use and I'm gonna talk about my folder so um I've just written out I don't know if you can see the different head, uh, the topics for this year. In AS, we are studying module 2, 3 and 4, and then obviously the rest in year 13. And what I did, I made, I looked at the different topics and I made headings for that for my dividers because I'm just going to like put it out there. For A-levels overall and especially biology, dividers are going to be a key, key essential. And obviously any subject, bio, but, but for biology, it's so important because you're going to be learning so much content like there is so much to learn that you need to make sure you have it in separate sections so for example I'll take this out I have um, cell structure at the beginning and it ends with classification and evolution and at the end I wrote the spec point the next thing I have in my folder was given by my teacher which is just saying a level biology note that gives us a list of things that we should try and include to help us stay organised. We have like different things like use of colour, accurate and detailed science, readable notes, syllabus references, bullet points, titles, subsections, mind maps and like keywords and just different things that we should have. Important thing for biology is your specification. There is no point learning an A-level without having a specification. You need to know exactly what they are asking you uh, because it's what's the point so much. you can print it double sided like two pages onto one which is what I've done if you can see which you can't there we go so I've just done that so I've literally got how the exam's laid out at the beginning so it like tells me that there's like three papers and what their like percentage of each paper and what comes up in each paper just things like that and then I've just put that after the divider and then I shall show you what I've done so far so we've got two different teachers and one's learning module two and one's learning module three so they're starting at separate places so for module two um 2.1 um which is obviously number one of my dividers I printed out the specific the specification just for 2.1 at the front of um the divider so that I know exactly what I'm learning in 2.1 for example I'm learning about cell structure I'm learning about microscopes um, staining cell structure magnification so just a specification of what I need to know because when you're revising if you have this in your division with all your revision notes you'll be able to know exactly what you're learning and what you need to know for it and it's good because you can obviously make annotations. I've highlighted key words, like if you can see over here, of things that I have to remember. The first thing we learned was microscopes. And this is how I've been taking notes from this year onwards. Because at the end of GCSEs, I learned that I work best when I type my notes from the computer. So what I do is, along with my notes from class, I come home or in my silent study or free study... I type up my notes 
and that's what I use. All the other work, I, I like just to recycle it because I don't use them because I can't read off whatever I've written, so I prefer typing it. And I've literally gone according to the specification and two point more, ever than two point one, I have it in order of all my notes. So we've learned in the last two to three weeks of class, we've done two point one. So I've just made all my notes on PowerPoint and I've gone exactly according to the specification of what it's asked and obviously there might be a bit of extra notes. So for example, their cell structure. I have to know about animal and plant cells. So I've got like the picture of an animal cell and then I've got like the descriptions on each slide of a PowerPoint of a different function. For example, the nucleus, plasma membrane and just different things like mitochondria. And I just have, so in the specification it asks for structure and function. I wrote exactly what it's asked. I wrote the structure and function. So when I go to go to revise, I know exactly what I'm learning and like what it asked for because I've gone, I've reflected it from the specification. Now, what I've also done is printed out some like mind maps and stuff. So our teacher has these online where she's printed out loads of different mind maps. So this is what I have to do for homework. I need to complete this mind map on cell structure to help with revision. And from the notes I've made, I'll use that to put this on here. So that way I can see if my notes are working or not. Because if I can't do this sheet, it means I haven't learnt it all. So I'm going to do this with the sheet. And then in a few weeks, my teacher will give me this again. And I have to do it without like my notes or whatever. The other things I have in my folder that I keep are textbook questions. The good thing about these textbooks are that they've got really good questions. So they literally have like a list of questions on each page. Uh, and what we have to do for homework is answer them. I have obviously pages where I have like all my textbook questions and like, I answer them in detail. And that's basically so far my folder. I've got like loads of homework sheets that you obviously get from teachers, like workbooks and different things like that. But yeah, that's basically how my folder works. So now that I've showed you like my folder and what I've been doing, I wanted to show you like how I'm revising and what I think is the best way to revise for biology, so some tips. And um, I've got my notepad here to help. So my first step is to make sure your folder is organized. Like I said before, make sure you've got your spec, you've got dividers, textbook, your a revision guide, and to make sure you just have neat and tidy notes. Because for biology, there is so much content, like obviously at any other A-level, but with biology, there is so much to learn and so many different things to learn. You're going to have to keep organised. So having a divider, having dividers will help you stay organised. And just make sure you have different subheadings. So like cell structure, biological molecules, nuclei, nucleic acids, enzymes, biological membranes, cell division, cell diversity. And just so that when you go back to revision, because we're doing our exams in two years, you're going to have to stay organised from now. Because if you don't stay organised now, you are going to be screwed, like screwed at the end of year 13 because you're going to have to keep this folder for two years. So if you stay organised now, it will help you so much. I know it's going to be hard at the beginning, especially we've just started, but if you feel like you're not organised now, maybe at the end of every month, just go through all your folders and organise it like that. So every so monthly, it will be neat. And... Another tip on revising is to make sure you use your specification to either make up questions or use the textbook for questions, but just practice loads of questions because for stuff to get into your head, you need to be able to answer it. So either if you don't have this book or you use another book, I'm sure you can find questions online or make up questions or just try and find a way that helps you understand it. So for me, it's answering questions. Um, so I always answer the textbook questions, regardless if I have it for homework or not, I just use it. Another thing that I use to help me revise for biology is a whiteboard and pen. So I revise best when um, I use a whiteboard because I literally scribble stuff down that I need to remember, remember because biology, let's face it, like we're going to have to memorise a lot. Like, there's a lot of key words or definitions that you're just going to have to memorise. Like, if you don't understand it, you're going to have to memorise it. And if you use a whiteboard and pen, it will help you memorise it because you can literally write it over and over again. 
because so, I prefer using a whiteboard than actually writing it down. I don't know why, but I just tend to use a whiteboard a lot. And you can get this for a pound line. I've had it for three years, and these you can either get from Poundland or I just bought a pack from WH Smith. Even though they're more expensive, they will last you longer. So it's just obviously up to you, but you can buy these from like the 99p shop, Poundland, anywhere. And this will help you when you're trying to remember stuff a lot, hence why I said remember it. So yeah, use this and it will just help you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So now that I've kind of done like my tips and stuff, it should honestly just keep on top of your work and just go to teachers for help and just practice questions and yeah, highlight keywords and memorize like little bits and stuff like that. I wanted to talk about how I'm actually finding biology. So, along with biology, I've taken psychology and economics, that took me a while, and I'm only taking three A-levels, and out of the three, I think biology is my most intense subject, and at first, I hated biology. In the first week, I wanted to drop I literally wanted to cry from biology like it was so stressful and I just couldn't focus I found the class boring there was nothing for like I just couldn't learn like we were learning about microscopes and I literally sat throughout throughout the quad lesson like this I honestly couldn't learn at all I found it so boring and I wanted to change to law but that was going to be a big step because I wanted to go into physiotherapy when I'm older and for that you need either biology or PE and any other subject. So obviously me not doing biology means I cannot go into anything like that. So that would have been a big change and I absolutely was so certain. I was literally going to go to school the next day and change it. But I spoke with my former tutor and he said that biology is so hard at the beginning because there's such a big jump. Even though he's not a biology teacher they were year 13 and we were all having a big discussion and they were saying that biology is such a big jump at the beginning that when you get through the first week or so after that you'll slowly understand the pace and you'll actually enjoy it and that's literally what's happened I love biology now so although there's going to be like hiccups along the way and I'm not going to like it maybe in a week or so I'm going to stick with it and I'm going to see how it goes because honestly I love it although there's a lot of memorising to do I think Biology keeps my doors open for me as well because I still get to go into physiotherapy and I've also looked into sports psychology which I'm quite interested in and I would need biology so I'm very interested in that and I chose that rather than PE because although PE is a great A level and I love PE so much I just feel like having biology as an A level even if I don't go into it will probably look better especially if I want to go into economics as well people might tend to see oh look that she's done biology as an A level she even though she hasn't done that particular subject or whatever it is she could she um biology was such an is such a hard A level she would be capable of learning new things and new skills for doing it and yeah I think that's also a reason why I didn't want to drop why I didn't drop it at the end my teachers are great i'm so happy i got the teachers i wanted to get like i was so so happy so yeah so far it's going okay i've got a few tests coming up for biology in the next few weeks so i'm going to be seeing how they go but yeah i just for those who want to drop biology honestly wait another week or so because you can't when you change it's going to be hard to go back and although there is a lot of content you are actually growing to love biology. Like, it is similar in GCSE in the sense you learn very much the same, just more in depth. So, like, cell structure, we had learned a lot of it in B2, whereas it's just developing the skill. So you roughly know some of it, but you're just developing it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video on A-level biology and my tips that I've used and my opinion of it, and I hope it helps and I shall see you next time. Bye!